I hear the second day is when the skin really starts to come all the way off. Is that true? Or is it the itching that really gets you? Or the rats? Jasper, isn't it? It's not so bad in here. Except I miss your wife. Ha! Huh. You don't scare easy, I'll give you that. But that'll change. <laughs> <laughs> Corvo, it's me. What a sight you are in that mask. I know who you are and what you're here to do. And I can help. Unlock me and I'll buy you a drink in a couple of days. By the void, I'll buy you a hundred drinks. I have poor circulation and I seem to have forgotten my mittens, so... I'd appreciate it if you could release me or at least go gather some firewood. You never appreciate the fine masonry of Dunwall's cobblestones until you've had your face hanging over them for days on end. Nothing would make me happier than joining you and the others, especially if they've tapped some of the finer kegs still left at the pub. The lever is just to my right here, Corvo. Outsider's eyes, these things chafe. Free me. And I swear I'll dedicate myself to our common cause. Only together can we end the Lord Regent and see young Lady Emily on the throne. With you as our sword arm, I have full faith in our efforts. I'd appreciate it if you could release me. It's the only way we can undo the wrongs done to you and to the daughter of the Empress. There are few brave enough to laugh in the outsider's face. But T. Martin is one. Do not be deceived by his talk of strictures. Martin's cries weigh heavy on his spirit. He has been a soldier, a highway robber, and a man of faith. He wonders which is more powerful, the knife or the tongue. He always had his sights set on the Abbey's highest office. There are few brave enough to laugh in the outsider's face. But a T. Martin is one. Feels good to stand up straight. Thank you, Corvo. What you're here to do tonight is of the highest importance. We've got to find Emily. So kill Campbell and make it quick. Once it's done, search his body for the journal. His notorious black book. And get out of there. Campbell is meeting with a guard named Kerna, and word from my informant is that Campbell is going to poison him. Maybe you can use that to your advantage. All right, I won't be of any help here, so I'll make my own way back to the Hound Pits pub. If I see Samuel the Boatman, I'll tell him to pick you up in the backyard, behind the office of the High Overseer. May all the spirits guide you, and may our enemy's head hit the floor without you taking a scratch. Once they're brought here, they never leave. The Overseers always find the guilt they seek. Where have the Overseers gone? They wade through chest-high waters with their hounds. Somewhere near, a man has just taken his last breath. His eyes are still open. My father had golden hair, my mother hair like ash. Once they are brought here, they never leave. The overseers always find the guilt they see. Where have the overseers gone? They wade through chest-high waters with their hounds. Somewhere near, a man has just taken his last breath. His eyes are still open. I was just reading in the archive about the heretic's brand. It sounds painful. Have you ever seen the ritual? I've never seen the heretic's brand used. No. It's a rare occurrence. But I did spy the face of one so branded. 
A former member of our order, of course. Out on a retreat, we passed through a fishing town and saw him begging. What were his crimes? Who can say? The brand is reserved for an overseer, or even the high overseer mm -hmm. himself, who violates our codes and must be cast out permanently. Mm -hmm. Remember the seven strictures, and you never need worry about such matters. I will, brother. Think you'll get your own squad after what happened last night? Never doubt it. Should we gather for whiskey and cigars tonight? Yes, of course. are bad. Could the city get any worse? Chances are very good.
I know you're here somewhere, scum. When I find you, it's going to be bad.
can't see Campbell's journal anywhere, brother. This is folly, I tell you. If he catches us in here... I've told you a hundred times. Campbell is upstairs meeting with the captain of the watch. He'll be busy for hours. Now keep looking. And I've told you a hundred times, Archer, that I am certain he keeps the Black Book on his person at all times. We went to the trouble of breaking into Campbell's sanctum for nothing. Shh, listen. What was that? You can stay and find out, but not... by which he hopes to defeat the righteous. He is patient, for he waits every hour and every day of our lives for a moment of weakness or carelessness, that he may enter our hearts. He is subtle, for many do his work and know it not. He is strong, and only by utmost striving can he be resisted. He is various, for there are seven gates by which he may enter a man's heart, and seventy kinds of spirits which live on and beneath the earth. The arts and tricks of black magic are without number. And he is eternal, for he has lived long ages before we are born, and will continue thus long after we are dust. Overseer Sturgis. My youngest sister lives with my wife and me, but does not cook or clean. She thinks on curious subjects, machinery and numerical calculations. And only yesterday she spoke of a wish to read a book. What shall I do? This is very troubling. For such a young lady is easy prey to the outsider. If not already within his grasp, watch her carefully for signs of it. She may fall into fit, or be heard speaking to the empty air or laugh or cry without provocation. Perhaps a disfigured man may come and inquire after her. Or you might discover small items in the house, branded as if by intense heat. Or the bones of rats may be found in her bedclothes. Be wary. Overseer Sturgis, is the outsider a winged serpent? Well, Coriander of Morley wrote that such serpents are kin to the whales and leviathans. And indeed, sailors off the shores of Pandicia tell of great winged shapes seen circling far inland, if such reports are to be believed. But the outsider is something else, not of flesh, a being that haunts creation from first to last, incorporeal but not without force and influence. And so, briefly and in conclusion, not a winged serpent. In dreams. I have seen my hands raised against my own child. Has the outsider already corrupted me? In the life of High Overseer Perry, it is written that the great man conversed with the outsider in dreams. So it is true that he may walk there. But as to raising the hand, it is not always wrong to do so. I myself benefited by many a chastisement in my youth. Many indeed, and not lacking in enthusiasm. I swear I have nothing you want. <coughs> you, please leave me. <sighs> I swear I have nothing you want. How did it pass me by? All the others, down with the sickness. <coughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
mass. Those fools at Coldridge for letting Corvo get away. Who knows what the man could do now? Hi, Remo, the Lord Regent, as he asks us to call him now, seems to have faith in all the Sokolov security devices he's put up all over the city, but I'm not so sure. At least the girl has been moved to a safe place. Visiting her twice a week has given me ample opportunity to inspect the facilities, as they say. So there's an upside, at least.
You get caught in the lockdown last night. Six hours. Search the place top to bottom. And nothing to eat but the swill we hand out free. Of course we didn't find anything. Did I ever tell you, one time one of the second floor shutters got stuck open, and I thought I could slip out? I couldn't find a way down, and by the time I got back it had snapped shut. I spent the rest of lockdown out on a ledge. <laughs> Maybe the outsider was watching. is a man, aged 30 perhaps, slender, unusual tattooing on the face and chest, probably superstitious heresy, wearing some sort of industrial mask when we brought him in, stolen out of one of the whaling factories from the look of it. You're one of Dowd's men, aren't you? Caught at last? Give us a name at least. What's wrong with his eyes? Opium? Laudanum? Are you with us? What's he doing? Some kind of fit? He's gone. Here it is, a pin, hidden in one of his gloves. Subject has administered some kind of poison. The effects seem to have been lethal.
was Martin's plot to break him out of Cold Ridge Prison. That's clear enough. But why Corvo? The one man feared throughout the Empire. He's as skilled as they say. He got through there with half the Watch looking for him. He had help, yes, but how far does it go? The trail goes to Martin, but Martin knows everyone. Everywhere. Not to the flooded district, surely. Or did he? The watch is having trouble holding the side streets. Bunch of children playing games.
Glory. And your niece, Callista, isn't it? I'm very concerned about her. She'll be found. My men are searching district by district. The poor girl. Callista's a resourceful one. Probably found a safe place to hole up in all this chaos. If my overseers hear any word, I'll come straight to you. Time for drinks. I hope you won't refuse. It'll make this business pass all the quicker. Locked? One of the servants must have been in here. Let me see. It seems I have the wrong one. Mm, not that one. No. Ah, here we are. Now if you'll join me. Men will come get you when we're finished. Keep each other entertained in the meantime. I don't understand how this got so unpleasant. Oh, I agree, I agree. A whore dies and suddenly this. Will you have wine? It's a Tivian Red. Thank you. Now, to business. What would you say happened last night? To be honest, I'm not even sure. My men, your overseers, a few whores, maybe a little too much ale. One harmless prank with a runaway chicken, and ten minutes later, Trevor's Alley is a sea of blood and teeth. I almost wish I'd been there. <laughs> Take it easy there, old son. I'm all right, Colonel. Went down the wrong way. Now about these overseers. Who are just as guilty as my own men, if not more. But my overseers have a name to protect. I can't allow you to... Oh, oh no. This can't be happening. Who's done this? What on earth are you talking about? No time, no time. Listen carefully. You must... I instruct the Lord Regent to burn the Black Book. Understand? Burn it! What Black Book? What do you mean? Tell him. Warn them. And then die of plague, you useless incompetent. I never liked you. What the... Campbell? He's dead. Guards! Guards, get in here! By the prophecies, what have you done? He's been poisoned. There was a younger of your order in here before. An initiate, perhaps. Detain him. You don't give orders here. Don't be a fool. He must be running already. Get after him! I'll be filing a full report. Stuff your report, Colonel, and I'll have your weapons at once. Idiot! One step closer and I'll gut you. You've forgotten where you are, Captain. You've no power here. You'll regret this! Ring the alarm! Fire! Fire! Take the stars! We'll have to fight our way out. Feed him to the house.